Skin cancer cases in the UK are at an all-time high, and package holidays are being blamed. Skin cancer diagnoses have reached record highs, owing to the 1960s increase in cheap package holidays abroad. Cases among middle-aged British people have tripled, and specialists estimate that the number of cases among those in their 50 seconds and older will continue to grow. According to Cancer Research UK, diagnoses across all age groups have reached an all-time high, with 17,500 persons diagnosed each year in the UK. Case rates among adults over the age of 54 have increased by 195% since the 1990s, with 21.3 people diagnosed with melanoma out of every 100,000 between 1993 and 1995. New analysis shows this rose to 62.9 cases per 100,000 in 2017 to 2019. The charity points to the trend towards having tan skin from the 1960s as cheap package holidays to Spain and other European hotspots became more affordable with the advent of modern jet airliners. Back then tanning oils were popular rather than sunscreen, before people became aware of the skin cancer risk from sunbathing. Cancer Research UK's chief executive Michelle Mitchell said, while it's promising that more people are seeking treatment for skin cancer earlier, and survival is improving, it's alarming that cases of the disease could soar over the coming years. Melanoma is the UK's fifth most common cancer, and we know that 86% of these skin cancers could be prevented. It's important to take care in the sun and to contact your GP if you notice any unusual changes to your skin. It's not just changes to a mole that matter, it could be a sore that doesn't heal or any unusual changes to an area of your skin. Spotting cancer early can make all the difference. Other factors could also be at play, including a growing and aging population as well as more people getting their skin checked when they notice changes. The charity has estimated that across all age groups, melanoma skin cancer cases could increase by around 50% over the next 20 years, hitting a record 26,500 a year by 2040. But despite the rise in cases, deaths from the disease are decreasing, it said. CRUK said that early diagnosis and treatment means that more people than ever will survive the disease. While from the 1960s the first instance of SPF appeared, the amount added to suntan lotions was incredibly low, and they were not widely used. Between the 1970s and 1980s, tanning oils increased in popularity just as resorts like Benidorm exploded in popularity. Researchers were making progress in figuring out the effects of UV rays and creating specialty sunscreens featuring sweat and water protection. But despite this there was still a widespread belief that the best way to take care of your skin was with sunbathing. Tanning products incorrectly claimed that sun would make your skin look younger and fresher however people who applied iodine or baby oil to tan were at greater risk of skin cancer. During the 1990s UVA blockers were added to sunscreens and spray and gel sunscreens became more common. SPF also started to be featured in products such as makeup and levels of protection in sunscreen increased. CRUK head of health Dr. Julie Sharp said, Whether you are holidaying abroad or enjoying the good weather closer to home, it's important to take steps to reduce your risk of skin cancer, especially if you burn easily. And remember sunburn doesn't just happen on the hottest days, you can still get burnt when it's cloudy. The best way to protect your skin when the sun is strong is to spend time in the shade, especially between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. in the UK and to cover up with a t-shirt, hat and sunglasses. Make sure you put plenty on and reapply it regularly. I'm now extremely careful in the sun, I wish I'd done that when I was younger. Justine Shales, 52, from Liverpool was first diagnosed with malignant melanoma in 2006. She had surgery to remove the mole and over the years since has had subsequent cancerous moles removed. I didn't even consider skin cancer, said Justine.